Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time. Let's get it, let's get it in, y'all. Let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann on the early what I seek these scripture study and prayer line on this 21st day in July 22K. JB, good to see you all, man. Always a pleasure, my family. My big sister Fee up in here and Melissa. Hallelujah. And my son Nilson and uh, my big brother Elder G. My cousin Cam Battle up in here. My cult uh, ride or die, a cult reader be up in here. My mother Joyce, mother known as like she do, Big Mark. We got Mada Yahoo Doss up in this place. Man, we wall to wall, tree top tall up in here. Oh, oh, don't tell me Nicole up in here too. Nicole Robinson up in here. Man, we ready. We ready to tip the ball now. Let the games begin, huh? Well, let's go to Yakana 14. Yeah. 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 Uh, Kevin Smith up in here. John fourteen, y'all. Yakana fourteen. Let's let's uh, let's let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Um. Trenda. <clears throat> John fourteen. Begin at the first verse. Look what he said. He said, let, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in Yah, but believe also in me. Um, only the Mashiach can say that. Because we ain't running around here believing in no, 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 no other Elohims. Most High is jealous. He, he ain't sharing his glory with nobody. His cabal with nobody. Okay? So, and all you're getting, get understanding. Let's keep rocking. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. In other words, he don't lie. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare... A place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. We got purpose here, y'all. We got something to look forward to. We're serving purpose with something to look forward to. What we're going through here ain't in vain. Truth of the matter, we, we're in the process of being reconciled. We lost what we had. But through the Mashiach, we're getting it back. And we're going to have it forevermore. Right? So the fourth verse say, And whether I, I go, you know. Look what he say. And whether I go, you know. And the way you know. He made, he made a statement. Emphatical statement. Whether I go, you know. Where I'm going, you know. And the way you know. He, talk, he talking to his disciples. Well, one of his disciples, Thomas, said unto him, Master, Adonai, we know not whether thou goest, how can we know the way? Was the Messiah wrong when he said, you, whether I go, you know, and the way you know? Oh, or was, was, was Thomas wrong when he said, we, we, don't, we don't know where you're going, and we don't know the way? Who's right in this situation? Thomas said, no, I don't know. Mashiach says, you do. He said, whether I go, you know. The method that I go, you know, and the way, you know. Thomas said, we, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? Yahushua said on him, I am the way. In other words, he said, if you know me, you know the way. 
You know where I'm going. And you know the way. By knowing me. Oh, it's going to get deep. Mr. Peoples in the house. You just said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. Again, I be teaching it the best way I know how. On the deity of Yahushua because the average person don't know. Little bro, good to see you on, man. I be teaching the essence of Yahushua. If, if, you, if you mess around and find out what the Messiah is, you can serve him better. You can serve Yah better. Yahweh, you, Yahuwah, better. You can serve him better if you know the essence of the Messiah. If, if you understand that in John 1 and 1, listen closely, listen spiritually. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with Yah, and the Word was Yah. That lets you know that the word is Yah. My word is with me. Your word is with you, wherever you are. In the beginning, his word was with him. Me and my word are not two people. You and your word are not two people. My word is me. Your word is you. In the beginning was the word. The word was with Yah. It was with him. And it was Yah. Simplicity. False doctrine clouds that for folk. Yeah. Yeah. Make confuse his folk because they've been taught false doctrine. Yeah, but 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 then if you look at the tenth verse, right? He went from the first verse, John one and one, Yah one and one. In the beginning was the Word. The Word's with Yah. The Word was Yah. The same was the beginning with Yah. All things were made by Him. All things were made by who? The Word. All things made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Everything was made by the word. Go to the beginning and see he spoke. It's not another deity. He spoke. When the spirit of the most high moved across the face of the deep, Yah is a spirit. That's not a second deity in a Godhead. <laughs> Yah is a spirit. What made him the father is that he created. What made him the son is is he was born of a virgin. He's going to either be a son or a daughter. What made him the Ruach? He is the Ruach. He is the Spirit. He is the Spirit. John 4 and 24, Yah is a Spirit, and they that worship him must worship his Spirit in the truth. Yah, Yahuwah is the Ruach, and they that, they that, they that worship him must worship him in Ruach and in truth. What's the problem here, Yah? He said he won. So if you understand that the word was made, then we go to the 14th verse, right? Because the 10th verse said, he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. He was in the, who was in the world? Yah, the creator of the world. 14th, 10th verse, 10th verse. He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. He came to his own, his own received him not. The most high came to save his own. He came on to, to, to Israel. <laughs> But, they, but we didn't receive it. But as many as received him, to them gave power to become his, his children. And since the majority didn't receive him, we ended up getting hijacked for our identity. But we're getting it back. Shout out to Nick Cannon. You'll be all right. We're praying for you. But the sixth verse said, And Yahushua said on him, Oh, the 14th verse, And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And the word was made flesh. The word, the word was born of a virgin. The word, word took on a body, being found fashioned as a man, uh, uh, Philippians 2 says. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. As we beheld his glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So one, in the beginning was the word, the word was with Yah, the word was Yah. Tenth verse, he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. Fourteenth verse, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And when the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, the most high told 
uh, Miriam, Mary, and Joseph what to name him, Yahushua. He come in his father's name. His name is Yah. Yahusha. Yah is salvation. Yah became, Yah became a man to rescue us. Emmanuel. Yah with us. Okay? Six verse. So look what he said. And Yahusha said unto him, I am the way. You want a relationship with the Most High? He's the way. The truth and the life. You want eternal life? It's the word, y'all. The word became a human being to save us. We need the word. We need what y'all say. The word became the son because that's the object of his salvation. Humanity. Sons and daughters. Humanity. He became who he came to save. Man got us into this mess. It's going to take a man to get us out. The word became that man. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. So when the word became flesh and dwelt among us, his name was Yah still. I come in my father's name, you receive me not. If another come in his own name, him you shall receive. He came in his father's name, Yahusha. Hallelujah. Praise ye Yah. He kumbaya, come by ya, come, come by ya, kumbaya, Hebrew, come by ya, he came. Be found fashioned as a man. Yahushua said on him, I am the way. The word is the way, y'all. For who? Man. That's why he became a man, being found fashioned as a man. He's the way to be reconciled with Yah. What is Yah? The word, in the beginning was the word, the word was with y'all, the word was y'all. What was disrespected that caused us to be dead? The word was. Adam went against the word. The word told him, don't eat of it. Don't eat of that tree. Stay away from it. But he messed around with his wife. She ate, gave to him. He ate because he was down with his wife over the word. So the word came down all those generations to be found fashioned as a man, to be reintroduced to us, and we got to somehow get away from our word, our way of doing things, to submit, to repent to the most high, which is the word, and, and allow the word to, to lead and guide us in all truth. That's why the Mashiach in Yachanah, or John 14 and 6 say, uh, uh, I am the way. He's the way. You want a relationship with the most high? He's the way. The word is the truth, too. And the word is eternal life. He's describing the word. The word is the way back to the Father. The word is the truth. And the word is eternal life. If you have the word, that word, if I hear it in my heart, that I might not sin against thee, you got eternal life. Isaiah Ryder, good to see you on. J.R. Aretha Jones, good to see you on. Yahushua said on him, I am the way. The truth and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. Look what he said. If you had known me, you should you should know my Father also. If, 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 you, if you had known the Word, you should have known the Father because the Father is the Word. Don't get it twisted because the Word is standing in the body to rescue you. The Word came down on our level. The Word came, found fashion as a man. He humbled himself. The father humbled himself and became the son. Why do you think Isaiah 9 and 6 says, Unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty Elohim, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Why do you think the word in Isaiah 9 and 6 called him the Everlasting Father, yet the Prince as well? Called him the Everlasting Father and the Prince. The Prince is the son of the Father. The father is the king. Malay, is that, is that, is that how you say it? Call me to be. But 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 the father is the king, the son is the prince. The word called him the everlasting father and the prince. When did the father become the prince? When he was born the son. And the word was made flesh. So so the, so so as the son, the word being fashioned. 
uh, the word being fashioned as a man, as the son. He said, if you had known me, you should have known my father also. If you had known me, you should know the father also. And from henceforth, you know him and have seen him. You're looking at the father. Robed in the body. Being found fashioned as a man. For a reason. To rescue you. I had to become a man. Man got us, got y'all into this mess, so I became the man to get you out. Yeah, Malek, see? Read the beat, got my back. <laughs> the everlasting Malek. <laughs> and the prince, the prince of peace. <laughs> yeah. If you had known me, you should have known my father also. And from moving forward, henceforth, you, you not only know him, you know the word, but you're looking at him because I'm found fashion as a man. Philip jumped in the conversation, took it from Thomas. Thomas, Thomas I guess, was baffled. So Philip jumped in and said on him, Master, show us the Father and it suffice us. See, they, they didn't have a Ruah yet. They, they didn't understand. You got folks that's running churches that don't have a Ruah yet. Don't have the truth. Don't have a revelation. Think it's three running around here. Think it's more than one Elohim. He'd already told you the biggest commandment in the book that he won. It's the most high did all this. And he did it alone according to Isaiah 44 and 24. He created all this. He's by himself. When he said, let us make man in our image, that's 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 a, a royal supreme uh, a decree. President say, let us do X, Y, and Z. And then, then Trump do it. Trump might say, let us let us invade uh the Hebrew, the true Israel communities with, with, with troops. Let us. He might say, let us do it. And then he do it. And then he send troops in to attack and pillage. But it was him. He did it. Same, 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 same with the most high. Yeah. Let us make man in our image. You read Isaiah 44, 24. He did it. He was by himself. He wasn't talking to another deity. <laughs> yeah, he did it when he did it. Because if you read it, he said, then Yah created man in his, not in theirs. And they, no, his. Singular. Because he did it by himself. Oh, we're teaching today. So he told him in the 7th verse 14, Yachinah 7 to 14, he said, If you had known me, you should have known my father also. And from his for moving forward, you know him and have seen him. He said, you're looking at it. But Philip didn't get it. He said on him, Master, show us the father. It suffices us. He turned around and said, Yahushua said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He's asking for the Father, he's still answering him. You know the Messiah ain't a liar. There was no God found in his mouth. He said, Have I been so long time with you, and yet thou hast not known me, Philip? What was Philip asking for? He was asking to see the Father. He just told him, You're looking at him. You know him, you're looking at him. He said, have I been so long time with you and you still don't know Philip? He didn't have seen me and seen the Father. How sayest thou then, show us the Father? Watch this, y'all. Believe it's not thou that I am in the Father. Where did the word come from? The word is going out of the Father's mouth and will not return void. Where did the word come from? From out of the Father. Because the word is inside of the Father. The Father can talk. <laughs> and the word comes out of him, right? Believe it's not that I am in the Father. He said, the word is still in the Father, and the Father in me. What was inside of that body? What did the word, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us? Believe us not thou, listen, let's talk about it, y'all. Believe us not thou that I'm in the Father, the word is in the Father, and the Father in me rolled in that body. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, not of my humanity, but but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the work. It's the power of his spirit, which is the word. Everything he created, he created by his word. He's doing the work. He created salvation for us. He did it through the word. Believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me, else 
Believe me for the very work's sake. The word is proving its power. Twelve first, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go to the Father. He, he was going to seal the deal and spread the blood on the mercy seat when he was done to seal the deal. The veil was going the veil was going to be rent in twain so we could have access to the Father through to the, to the Word through the Messiah. The veil represents his body is going to be rip, ripped. Then we can have access at the Word through his body. We ain't the veil. He's the veil. His body was ripped. His body was broken for us. Rhonda, good to see you all, young lady. 13th verse. And whatsoever you ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father might be glorified in the Son. Whatever you ask in his name, we're, we're, bapt we're baptized into his body, and, and, and his body's already named. That's why folks talk about uh, what should I name the church, so-called church. We use that term loosely, but for the sake of teaching, well, I'm going to use that term right now. Name the church. The, ch the church was named. The church got a name that's above every name. And at that name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Yah ain't asked you to name his body. He didn't even let the parents name the body. He didn't ask Mary and Joseph what, what, what to name the son. He said, call him Yah. Yah salvation. Yahushua. Because he's going to save his people from their sins. Yeah, something that Yah was going to do, become our salvation, to rescue us. And whatsoever you ask in his name, in the name of the rescue, in the name of salvation, Yah's bringing salvation, he said, I'll do it. You operating in salvation? You working for the body to save, reconcile? I got you. I'll do it. That the Father might be glorified in the Son. He's glorified in his humanity for the rescue mission. 14 verse. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Keep the word, y'all. If you love him, keep the word. And I will pray to the Father that he'll give you another comforter that he might abide with you forever. What's another comforter? Is that another deity? No. It's the spirit of the word that's going to live inside of you. Right now, the spirit of the word is in the body to, to, to pay the ransom for you, to live the perfect example as a man. The word became a man to be our perfect example. The word became a man, our kinsman redeemer. Remember Boaz? Our kinsman redeemer. He fulfilled the scripture. He became our kinfolk to, to pay the ransom for us. And I'll pray to Father, and he'll give you another comforter. What's another comforter? The word without the body? True relationship with the word now? Yeah, the word, the word was made flesh. One, John 1 and 14 saying the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Well, the flesh is the man. <coughs> man got a job to do. The man got a job to do. To live the perfect example, die for the sins of man. And then raise up with all power. Get up out of here. And then come back without the body as the comforter. To comfort us. Thy word is I hid in my heart. And it's comforting me. Stood at the door and knocked. I opened up. It was the word without the body now. Stood at the door and knocked. I heard. Why? Because it's the word. I heard the word. Let him in. I believed. Let him in. Then he began to break the truth of the word. Supper. <laughs> Then I sup with you, have supper with you. Man don't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of y'all. I'll, I'll, I'll talk with you. I'll lead and guide you to all truth. I, I, I'll tell you what the word, the written word mean, because I'm the spirit of the word living inside of you. And I pray the Father that he'll give you another comforter, another form of comfort through the word that he might abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Ephesians 4 and 4 say it ain't number one spirit. Same spirit, 
spirit of the word. That's why Yaakonah 6 and 63 say, it's the spirit that quickeneth the, the flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you are spirit and life. <laughs> Even the spirit of truth, which is your eternal life, whom the world cannot receive. It can't receive the word because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but you know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. He was saying he the spirit. He telling them the world can't receive him because it seeth him not. But he look, he said, you looking at him. You looking at him. Even the spirit of truth, who the world cannot receive because it seeth him not. What that mean? They see him then. Neither knoweth him, but you know him, for he dwell with you. I'm standing here talking to you. And shall be in you. I can't be in you yet because I'm in the body. Going through the reconciliation process. Living the perfect example for you. Go down the tree for you to give you access. Then I'm going to baptize myself inside of you. I'm not inside of you. I'm inside of this body <laughs> right now. That's why the 18th verse say, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. I thought he was praying the Father to send the spirit of comfort. I thought he said in the 16th verse, I will pray the Father and he should give you another comforter. Then he turned around the 18th verse and said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. I will come to you. <laughs> Is that all right? Come on, somebody. Y'all getting this revelation? Yet a little while and the world see me no more. But you see me because I live, you shall live also. Because I'm going to be inside of you. <laughs> at, the, at that day you shall know that I am in the Father and ye in me and I in you did y'all hear that at that day you shall know that I am in the Father the word is in the Father and, and ye in me you're in the word right you're in the word you're studying the word you're hiding it in your heart right you're in the word and I in you and the word is in you you know on that day when you're filled with the Ruah, when you're filled with the Spirit, that, that, that you got the Spirit of the Father. Yeah, because, because, because the Word is in the Father. And you in the Word. <laughs> and the Word is in you. Oh, yeah, he said he's... I'm the way, the truth, and the life. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. 21st verse. He, he, he that hath my commandments, which is the word. Don't get it twisted. It's, look at this. People be thinking from a religious standpoint, whenever you see commandments, they think of the, the, the word on stone. No, the word is in us now. He removed the stony heart of man through the salvation process. Had the word on stone been enough, he would have left it at that. But for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, through our human nature, Yah sending his son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemn sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be filled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. There's a righteousness part of what Yah told us to do. And we have that through relationship, through the Ruah, through the word living inside of us. Now we don't need the word on stone because now the word is written on the tables of our heart. We now left religion to have a true relationship. And he that had my commandments quit thinking commandments on stone and think the, the commandments in your heart. When you think commandments, don't think commandments on stone. Think commandments, the word telling us what to do, how to live. He that have my word commandments. The commandments is the word. The commandments is the word on stone. Remove the stone and you got the word in us. He didn't have my, my word and, and, and keepeth them. What I say, right? He it is that loveth me. You want to love the most high? You want, you, you, you want to love? You want, you want to be reconciled with him? He it, 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 he it is that loveth me 
and he that loved me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. <clears throat> oh, man. Come on, somebody. <sighs> Isn't that something? Back to the top, y'all. Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in y'all, believe also in me. Who is me? The word. <laughs> believe what y'all say then. How about that? Like the first Adam should have did, he should have believed, he should have believed what he said. Instead, he rolled with his wife. After she was bit by a snake. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in Yah, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. He got it set, he got it laid out for us. It's all set up for us, y'all. In my house, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I'd have told you. I'd go to prepare a place for you. He ain't lying, he's coming back to get us. So let not your heart be troubled. Come on, somebody, hang in there. We, we, everything gonna be all right. <laughs> And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come, I will come again and receive you unto my say. He's coming to get us. That where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know. Now you understand. He talking to them. You, you know, you where I go, you know. <clears throat> and the way you know. Because I'm 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 where I'm going. Yeah, the word is where we're going. We're going, we're going to obey the most high in eternity. In the heavens. Whether I go, you know, and the way you know. You know him, you got everything you need. He's the GPS. He's our navigational system, our spiritual navigational system. Whether I go, you know, in the way you know. Thomas didn't understand that you knew him the whole time. Dorothy had the shoes on all the time. All she had to do was click her heel. <clears throat> Thomas said unto the master, we know not whether thou goest. How can we know the way? He said, man, I am the way. <laughs> the truth and the life. And no man come unto the Father but by me. Too many people run around here trying to have a, a relationship with the Most High without going through the Word. They get to make up this God in the figment of their imagination. They get to make up this love affair. Why they fornicate, come into adultery, lying, cussing, not faithful to them, hasn't repented from their sins. They have this fake lie <clears throat> and it's time out for that you not weaken that you not weaken at the ignorance no more we need to know the word yeah we we need to know the way the truth and the life which is the word yeah and what gave us access to knowing the word was the word became a human being and lived the word like it's supposed to be done so we can have an example. And then died in our stead because we deserve to die. So the world was made flesh and died for us. Then now we can have access back at the Father, which is the Word. Don't be like Philip. Show us the Father. I see the second person in the Trinity. I want to see the Father. He like, have I been so long time with you? Have you been so long time in church and you still don't know? <laughs> Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Get to know Yah. Is that all right? <clears throat> and the Messiah, the whole Yah head bodily is in him. The whole entire thing. Because it ain't number one. Y'all got it? Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for another opportunity coming for you. Help me to know how gleaning in the truth of your word. That word is true. Give revelation to your children even the more. Send a message like this even global that people wake up and get out of Catholicism, a Catholicized way of seeing the Father as a triune when he's one. Hero Israel, uh, 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 Yahuwah, thy, thy Allahim is one Ahad. <laughs> he's one. Ain't no, the right hand represents power. He's a spirit. He don't have no right hand. 
uh, uh, the son sitting at the right hand of the throne of power. He, he rose back up in the power. <laughs> Ain't number one. Give revelation that it was the most high that did what he did for us to save us. And that we bow down to it and obey his word. And we pray all of this in the matchless name of Yahushua. Hamashiach. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And all may. That was the lesson. We pray that uh, you play it back and study to show yourself approved so you can get it. No, plenty of food in that lesson. Believe that. <clears throat> Y'all push the share button. Get so much food. Please push the share button. A lot of food in that short lesson. Push the share button and the like button. Um, if you're a supporter of this ministry, um, I'm humbled and I say thank you because you help me do what I do. Um, and the Most High blesses will bless you um, when you take care of His 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 business. Hallelujah. Um, if you are being blessed by this ministry and learning and would like to support this ministry, it's my job to tell you how. If you got the cash app, all you got to do is put in dollar sign Yahoo to Israel. It's dollar sign Y-A-H-U-D-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. Again, dollar sign Yahoo to Israel, and you can support the ministry like that. You also can do it through the Facebook page that you're on right now. If you're on my Facebook page, just go inside of the messenger, and there's a given button. Hallelujah inside of there. Uh, continue to pray for me as I pray for you. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not too proud to beg. Pray for me. This is spiritual warfare. Again, in Acts, I believe it's the 13th chapter, might be the 12th, but I believe it's the 13th chapter when uh, Harry got his hands on, on James and killed him because the believers didn't know they weren't able to pray for him. But when he got his hands on Kepha, they called him Peter, they prayed, and because of that, he busted out of prison. The Most High busted him out of prison because of the, 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 the prayers of the believers. Y'all pray for me, please. And I'll continue to pray for you as well. As I, all y'all mention me repeatedly. Whenever, whenever you pray, try to remember me. Uh, do the best you can. I appreciate it. Um, let's get ready to go on the line, y'all. <clears throat> you want to go on the line? It's 302 202 1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Keep that number because we plan on having noonday prayer. And then later on tonight, uh, 7 p.m., we'll have prayer with Matty Yahoo Dogs. I did preach last night, didn't I? Yeah. Today is Tuesday, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Matty Yahoo Dogs tonight. Is that all right? Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch. Baruch Shalom. I'm gone.